What's up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 9 of Cheer Boys and just to let you all know, Cheer Boys, the activity with the Cheer Boys uh, reviews, you know, with people commenting and the views and things like that, has been decreasing every single week and now it's come to the point where I've been getting one comment, one comment on every review and less than, uh, it, it struggles to get past 100 views, so that's how I know that it's time to stop these reviews. I'm still going to be watching True Boys on the side, however, since I'm having no activity on these reviews anymore, it's clear that no one's watching this, so there's no point in me wasting my time to make a review, and I need to f free up space, since you know, I'm in college now, and there's a lot of work with college and stuff. So, yeah. But I just want to make this one last review because Cheer Boys takes place in college. I'm in college right now. I thought it would be kind of cool. So Haru actually talks to his sister for once and she's just wondering like, what's going on? Like, of course, I would be just like her too. Like, what are you doing up on the roof now with all these other people and the equipment and stuff? Whatever happened with judo and things like that? Like, I would be just like her. Like, Haru isn't talking to her at all and he really needs to. And just the whole thing with Kazu. My baby Kazu. Oh my gosh, Kazu. Just, uh, I don't want to see him cry or be sad ever again. Oh, that broke me so much. Cause, cause, cause Kazu is such a great, kind person. He's willing to help out anyone, and he's always so happy. He has a beautiful smile, and he's just like crying and I'm like Kazu Kazu <laughs> you, my baby oh, man. and you see with Kazu's grandma it's not that she's not gonna make it it's the fact that she can no longer remember him and that's really sad like she remembers his mother which is why he decided to make the whole men's cheer squad in the first place it's because he wanted his grandma to try to remember him. So that's why he started up the men's cheer squad and why he wants to do his mother's routine specifically. <sighs> Man, give me all sorts of feels. God, so, God, so. Oh. <sighs> oh, it's too much. Let's talk about happy stuff. We did have some comedy moments within this episode. First thing with Ichido, Gen, and the little sister. Ichido heard that his moto was going on on a date, so Ichido was getting really mad, which I would be like him too, because like his moto wasn't even telling him anything and stuff. So he and Haru went out to go see who she's going out with, and then we see Gen. So she's like, oh my gosh, his best friend is dating his little sister, and he hid it from him. Oh my gosh, no, you just broke the bro code. But then we see that, first off, the Emoto is a little kid. <laughs> and second of all, is that Gen was just trying to help out the Emoto to pick out a present for her Omi-chan. <laughs> so that was all a very funny misunderstanding. And the next misunderstanding that was going on, which will probably be addressed even more next week, is with this fan-made tribute to show that the coach came up with and she accidentally sent it out to other members of the team and so they were all like oh my gosh does she have a crush on show but no it's not the case she's just all like oh yeah just just keep this a secret from now okay I'll, I'll let you know in due time so what's that all about I don't know maybe she's recommending show for a better cheer squad maybe? I don't know, like, you, you know how it is when you submit yourself or you promote yourself and then you have like other adults, like normally a guidance counselor will also help you promote yourself to other schools or squads or whatever to better your future and stuff so you can take hold of this great opportunity of whatever sport or hobby you really love to do. So maybe that's what this is. I don't know. And in the end, the whole gang cheered up Kazu with a lovely cheer, and the cheer music was fire once again, but I, I really enjoyed this episode. It hit me with the feels, it gave me some laughs, but overall it turned out great in the end, and that's what I like to see. Kazu, never ever cry again. Please don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. I don't like that. That does not feel right. Anyway, 
Catch me Thursday as I review Boku no Hero Academia and Zetsubohen. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.